for the most part, the NBA has been pretty good about switching up formats. Things aren't working. Is there any format you particularly like in your past years? Or? Um, I mean, not really. I think the last, like, kind of close to being competitive was the one in Chicago. Um, but, uh, I mean, the game just has to be close. I feel like um, tonight it wasn't. Um, you usually see, uh, you know, more, um, I guess you'll say, people uh, – trying to play guard and play defenses in the fourth quarter. Now, this is a smaller city, but what impressed you the most about Indy putting on a big event like this? Um, just the fans, I was saying. They showed a lot of love, um, a great, uh, you know, basketball city, um, a lot of history here. And, um, you know, even in a cold, you know, they came out and was out showing love. Well, good to see you before you guys go to OKC. Okay, so I wanted to kind of focus on, on, the, on the season. How do you guys kind of kick back up? Break? Uh, we'll have practice. Um, guys are doing stuff on their own. So uh, we know it's not summer and we have uh, more games to play. That OKC game is pretty critical. Obviously, it's a tiebreaker situation that you guys want to win every game. But um, is, is there an added, added approach or you know, intensity to these kind of games? Are they close to all-star? Uh, not for me. Um, you know what I mean? I'm just focused on our team and trying to be the best team and make sure we have carryover so we could uh, you know, reach our potential. In your experience, home court advantage. Um, I'm not thinking about that, man. You're talking about playoffs and all that. Come on. Not as a direct reaction to this game, but just the league is a brick for shooting league. And you won championships 10 years ago where that was starting to, to build up and everything. How do you feel like, you know, defending threes? Like, is, is, how do you remove the make or miss factor? Like, how do you approach defending that shot? The if three? Yeah, just when, it just depends on who you're guarding and seeing how many shots they take a game and if they're comfortable with the shots that they're getting. And uh, just pretty much just trying to do that. How do you do that from, uh, you know, move the team part? Like, do you study more? Uh, you working on your team concept pretty much. And, um, you know, depending on who you're playing or the team you're playing or the player that you're closing out against, uh, you adjust. Last question. How cerebral he is, different things he sees on the court. Maybe you didn't know before you played. Um, I mean, I'm learning a lot. Um, you know, obviously I get to see every game he's playing, pretty much almost uh, every segment that he's in. And, um, you know, just little things that you pick up. Uh, I mean, it's hard to say, just one thing. But uh, just learning to play with each other, uh, that, that's the key thing. And um, making sure that uh, we are all comfortable on the floor. That was the last one.